French speaker brand Focal's entry into the high-end headphone space has been pretty astounding. Even as a relative newcomer to the market, they're now a household name among HeadFi circles. Well, today we're looking at the new mid-range closed back from Focal, the Celesty, which replaces the Allegia. Now, I'll quickly run you through the design changes, which are a mix of old and new. The Celesty inherits the spiffy leather-wrapped design of the Stelia, now in a rich navy blue and copper colorway. The cable is rubber rather than fabric sheathed, which some people may appreciate because the new cables are a bit less stiff compared to the original ones. As expected from Focal, the Celesty has a solid build, but it's a bit heavier than average for a headphone that you could technically use as a portable one. Thankfully, weight distribution is excellent, and at least for me, the Celesty's headband makes good contact across the top of my head. Now once again, we can see that the Focal logo on the back of the ear cup is a big port, which means that like the Allegia, this model does not isolate as much as other more sealed off closed designs. Onto the changes in sound, and I will say that Focal has clearly been taking feedback on the Allegia with the new tuning of the Celesty. While the previous model, the Allegia, had some big fans, I was personally never one of them. I felt that the Allegia was a high-performance headphone with a great soundstage, but there was something of a gap in the soundstage or the mid-range response that made vocals sound odd, and overall the sound just never quite sat right with me. Now, we don't have an Allegia on hand to directly compare with anymore, but based on memory, I will say that the new Celesty does sound significantly more natural and pleasant. The unevenness has mostly been ironed out and what you get with the Celesty is a warm signature with vivid imaging and excellent dynamic response. It's the kind of all-round sound that brings out the best in a wide range of genres. When you compare it to the flagship Stelia, you can still tell that the Celesty still has a somewhat uneven frequency response in the vocal regions. And at the very lowest sub 100 Hz bass registers, they're a little rolled off and the bass sounds punchy but a little less tactile than it should. To me, the differences are what makes the Stelia the flagship and one of my favorite closed back headphones. Of course, the Stelia is several multiples the price of the Celesty. If we stick to closed back headphones in the Celesty's price class, it becomes pretty obvious that they all have their quirks and I would say the Celesty is one of the better choices under $2,000. I think one of the strongest competitors to the Celesty is the Dan Clark Audio Aeon 2 Closed. The Aeon 2 does have a narrower soundstage, but imaging and clarity is on par, if not better, on the Aeon 2 thanks to an extremely clean transient response from the Aeon 2's planar magnetic driver. As a closed headphone, the Aeon 2 also offers a more compact and lightweight design that folds up. The Aeon 2 is harder to drive though thanks to its low impedance, low sensitivity design. So you may need an amplifier or player that can supply more current. And of course, not everyone loves the timbre of planar magnetic headphones. So overall, I think that the Celesty is one of the best closed headphones at this price point, and our customers certainly seem to agree, as we sold out our first shipments very soon after we got our hands on this Blue Beauty. You can come in and have a listen to the demo yourself, or you can order online at minidisc.com.au. This is Lachlan for Minidisc TV, and we'll see you next time.